India conducted flight tests of multiple missiles this year, including the Agni 5 with MIRV, the ITCM cruise missile, Brahmos cruise missile, Smart, Rudram 2, V Shurats, etc. But what are these different types of missiles? And why do we need so many different types? And how important are they for a country's defense? In this video, we'll discuss India's four world class cutting edge missiles Agni with MIRV. ITCM, SMART and ASTRA. Hello guys, I am Saurav and welcome to the ARC. In simple terms, a missile is a smart unmanned rocket that can carry a payload to a target point and cause destruction. So missiles are different in terms of their range, velocity, trajectory, type of warhead it can carry, platform from where it can be launched, etc. Depending on the objective of the missile, its propulsion system, guidance system, aerodynamic features are designed and missiles are classified accordingly. In terms of launch mode, it can be surface to surface, air to surface, air to air. In terms of range, it can be short, medium or intermediate. Take a look at this missile classification. Missiles are extremely important for a country's defense infrastructure and self-reliance in missile technology all the more so. India over the years has developed a spectrum of world-class missiles, including intercontinental ballistic missiles, supersonic cruise missiles, air-to-air -air missiles, submarine-launched missiles, and even counter-space missiles. But any discussion on India's missiles is incomplete without mentioning this guy, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, the Missile Man of India. Around the year 1982, the government of India started the Integrated Guided Missile Development Program or IGMDP with an objective to develop strategic missiles. Dr. Kalam, who was then the Director of Defence Research and Development Laboratory, was given the responsibility of IGMDP. The program set the target of developing five different missiles, which later took the shape of short-range surface-to-surface ballistic missile Prithvi, intermediate-range surface-to-surface ballistic missile Agni, short-range low-level surface-to-air missile Trishul, medium-range surface-to-air missile Akash, third-generation anti-tank missile Nag. If you want to know more about how and where these missiles get tested, do check out my video on ITR Chandipur and Dr. Abdul Kalam Island in Odisha. The array of missiles India developed that made India self-reliant in missile technology is a result of the IGMDP program. Over the years, these missiles are being improved in terms of technology, range and lethality. And one such improvement is the MIRV or MIRV technology on the Agni missile. On March 11, 2024, DRDO conducted first successful flight test of Agni 5 missile with multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicle or MIRV technology. Named Mission Divyastra, the missile was launched from Dr. Abdul Kalam Island off the coast of Odisha. MIRV is a complex technology and after this test, India joins a small group of countries, the US, UK, Russia, France and China that have developed it. With MIRV technology, a single intercontinental ballistic missile can carry multiple warheads and hit multiple targets at different locations even hundreds of kilometers apart and that allows assured hit even if the missile is detected and intercepted by the adversary. Experts suggest the MIRV Agni-5 will be able to carry 4 to 6 warheads and with Agni-5's officially claimed range of 5000 kilometers, it will be able to hit almost all the important targets. The Agni series of ballistic missiles constitute the backbone of India's nuclear weapons delivery and with MIRV technology, they have just become more lethal. Next, we'll discuss the indigenous technology cruise missile. But before that, let's first understand the difference between a ballistic and cruise missile. A ballistic missile has a ballistic trajectory over most of its flight path, which means once the missile is launched, it ascends into space and then descends rapidly towards its target in a parabolic path. It follows a path determined by the speed of its launch and the force of gravity trying to pull it back towards the Earth's surface. Unlike cruise missiles, they lack in-flight maneuverability. Ballistic missiles have very high speed and long-range capabilities. 
which makes them suitable for delivering strategic and long range strikes but because of their altitude these are easier to detect and intercept they can carry both conventional and nuclear warheads and are usually used for long range strikes india's agni prithvi dhanush are a few examples of ballistic missiles cruise missile they fly within the earth's atmosphere and use jet engines they follow a specific flight path at low altitudes which makes them difficult to detect and intercept cruise missiles have high degree of maneuverability and accuracy depending on speed they are classified as subsonic supersonic and hypersonic they can carry both conventional and nuclear warheads and can be launched from land sea air and submarines brahmos and itcm are india's cruise missiles you can clearly see the difference in flight paths between the agni ballistic and brahmos cruise missiles now that we have understood the difference let's discuss the itcm on april 18 2024 drdo conducted successful flight test of indigenous technology cruise missile from itr chandipur of the odisha coast the itcm which was earlier named nirbhay is a 1000 to 1500 km range cruise missile the missile has sea skimming and loitering capability the missile in its early stage of development had a russian engine but now it has the small turbofan engine or stfe developed by the gas turbine research establishment or gtre the engine was earlier named as manik the missile has been in development for more than a decade now and has seen mixed results but after the recent successful test flight it may get inducted very soon it will be operated by both the indian navy and air force as far as global missiles of this class are concerned the itcm missile belongs to the same class as the us tomahawk missile and french exosat missile the subsonic cruise missiles have greater control over speed and altitude they have better ranges stealth nature and maneuverability then their supersonic counterparts india's brahmos is one of the best supersonic cruise missiles in the world but in the subsonic class we have been lacking that is going to be fulfilled by the itcm shortly the next missile is a unique one the supersonic missile assisted release of torpedo or smart is a missile based lightweight torpedo delivery system a torpedo is basically a missile which is launched from a submarine or other warship to destroy enemy surface vessels or submarines so the smart is a hybrid weapon system which acts as a torpedo delivery system which is launched from land not the sea it was flight tested from the apj abdul kalam island on may 1st 2024 it has a range of 650 km to hit an enemy ship or submarine the missile will significantly enhance the anti submarine warfare capability of the indian navy far beyond the conventional range of lightweight torpedoes Finally the Astra missile Astra is one of the most important missile programs of India which is not much discussed Astra series of missiles are India's first home grown beyond visual range air to air missiles so the visual range is roughly around 37 km and beyond visual range is essentially beyond 37 km a BVR missile is able to hit a target beyond 37 km BVR missiles are different from the short range missiles in a way that the short range or within visual range AAMs are infrared homing or heat seeking missiles that is these missiles home in on the heat emitted by the target aircraft's engines or airframe but BVRs use active radar guidance that is the missile contains a radar transceiver and the computing system to find and track its target autonomously Modern BVRs also have a data link to communicate with the aircraft it is launched from or the AWNC BVR missiles are standoff missiles that can be fired from longer distances and eliminate enemy airborne assets without exposing the aircraft to enemy air defenses India felt the need for a good reliable air to air BVR missile on the 27th february 2019 air skirmish with pakistan if you remember india conducted air strikes on pakistan's balakot 
on 26 February 2019 Pakistan launched an operation as a counter the very next morning Pakistani F16s fired multiple amrams at the Indian fighter jets which the Indian fighters successfully dodged but when it was time to strike back at the Pakistani fighters the BVR missiles on the Indian fighters fell short Indian Su-30s which were involved in the air skirmish were armed with the Russian R-77 BVRs which did not have the range to realistically engage the Pakistani fighters secondly there was a big inventory problem that the Indian air force faced IAF uses fighters of different kinds and they have their own set of missiles so it's very difficult to maintain inventory of such a large number of missiles and that's where the Astra missiles come into picture the Astra AM program was launched in the 2000s It's an indigenously developed beyond visual range air to air missile with a range of 80 to 110 kilometers. It's a state of the art BVR missile. One of the best in its class. In 2022, government placed orders for the Astra Mark 1 missiles for the Indian Air Force and Navy worth 3000 crore rupees. Astra Mark 1 has already been integrated with Indian Air Force's Su-30 MKI, LCA Tejas and Indian Navy's MiG-29 K fighters. The Indian Air Force has addressed the BVR issue for now with world's most lethal BVR missile Meteor on the Rafale aircraft. The Meteor is undoubtedly the best AAM in its class with a range in excess of 200 km and a no escape zone of 60 km. Its solid fuel ramjet motor allows the missile to cruise at a speed of over Mach 4. While Meteor is the best missile in its class, it's pretty expensive too. Hence we needed indigenous capable alternatives. If we compare the Astra Mark 1 with global alternatives, it lies in the class of US made AIM-120 Amram and Israeli Iderby ER missiles. India is developing a Mark 2 version of the Astra. which will have a range of about 130 to 150 km and as per reports it is ready to be tested very soon the mark 2 will be of an intermediate range between mark 1 and meteor and the mark 3 which is also under development will surpass the meteor these missiles are extremely important for india's defense strategy we have covered four of these in this video and will cover more in future videos so stay tuned to the arc and don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you